Want to try the new realistic Kriya model? You can use it natively with Comfy UI. Just go to the templates, find Flux, and select the Flux 1 Kriya dev workflow. You'll see a warning if you don't have the necessary models. To get them, click download or use the URL link. You'll find all the details on installing the models and using this workflow in the Comfy UI documentation. You'll also find model links and a quick description of the Kriya Flux model. Flux Kriya is all about photorealism and aesthetics, creating images that look less like AI. You'll get more accurate textures, dynamic camera angles, and vibrant color. It really shines in product photography, concept art, fashion, and architectural scenes. The workflow itself also includes information on the models. With an RTX 4090, I'm good to go with the FP16 model and default settings. If you've got less VRM, switch to FP8 or a quantized model. We'll cover that in a bit. The default settings work well. The result is a natural, high-quality photo. For those who have used Flux, you'll see this workflow is nearly the same as the Flux Dev full text image template. The only difference is the clip text encode node. The full text template uses a dual prompt for each encoder. You can use either, as long as you're using the same Flux Kriya model. Just know that the results will be different. The two prompts and guidance will impact the sampling process, even with the same seed. You can see they look alike, but notice the differences in their clothing and the lighting. If you need faster inference, or have less than 24 GB of VRM, switch to an FP8 D-Type. You can also download the FP8 version directly from a link. Or you can use quantized models instead. I've replaced the diffusion loader with a GGUF unet loader here. Just be sure to install the Comfy UI GGUF custom node from the manager first. Quantized models for Kriya have already been created. I've left a link to a repository with GGUF models. In the Quantstack repository, you'll find a wide range of models. The smaller the file, the less VRM you'll need. For this demo, we're using the Q8 model. It's a similar size to FP8 but gives you better image quality. Let's run the GUF Q8 models and see the results. The GGUF model gives us another great variation. The photo is still natural and high quality. Time for a comparison. We'll put Flux Dev and Kriya side by side. The Kriya model seems to have a less AI look. Now, let's try another photography prompt. To get the most out of Kriya, use detailed prompts and specify photographic characteristics. The difference is clear. Flux Dev looks more plastic, while Kriya uses light better for more realistic textures. Let's change the prompt for the man in the white shirt adding some background details. Check out the difference. Flux Dev blurs the background. But Kriya's is clearer and more defined, though it's not quite perfect. Kriya can be used for other image types, like photographic landscapes, drawings, or other artistic creations. But in these cases, it might not be the best choice. When using complex artistic styles, you'll find both Flux and Kriya can struggle. Flux gets the foot position wrong. With Kriya, however, elements are misplaced, like the hand on the boot and the hand that looks like a leaf. But Kriya's a beast at commercial product photography. Just look at the insane detail on these wallets. Let's compare results using simple concepts, 
and let the models be random. We'll use only animal in the prompt. For some reason, Flux Dev tends to output cartoon images. Kriya alternates between paintings and realistic photos, and it seems to have a preference for felines like tigers and lions. Okay, also cheetahs. Using Magician as a prompt, Kriya seems to generate magic show posters. Quite surprising. Control nets also work with Kriya. We'll see how Flux Dev and Flux Kriya react differently to them. We'll do a test with HED lines, using a strength of 1, and N% percent of also 1. These high values will give us great insight into how Flux Dev and Kriya Dev respond to Control Net. With Flux Dev, the picture strongly follows the scribble lines from the preprocessor. The colors and tones change slightly, but different seeds result in very similar images. When I test Kriya, the results change. It still follows the line drawings, but each generation has a very different style. This can be a really interesting method for concept product design. Reducing the control net strength and duration still gives us stylized results. Together, Kriya and control net are a powerful tool for image design. Image and prompt are key. Let's try a new one. A woman walking with a backpack through a forest. Flux Dev gives us different styles here. This can still be interesting, depending on your goal. With Kriya, all the images have a similar vintage look, and it seems to follow the original less precisely. You can also use other control nets, like Canny. In my experience, Kriya prefers to follow the prompt, while Flux Dev is better guided by the control net. This isn't a bad thing. It's a matter of choice. Next image up. We'll use the HED lines preprocessor again. Let's reduce the strength of the control net to 0.7. The results get a lot of the style from the HED lines, creating comic-like images. Changing strength and sampling period of the control net yields very different results. Try with strength of 1 and an N% percent of 0.3. Look at the pre-visualization. For the first 6 steps, the latent image really follows the control net reference. But after that, the sampling becomes more random, leading to a more unique final composition. Let's take another look, also using another seed. The first steps of both latents are similar, with both following the HED lines even though the color is different. The randomness kicks in at 30%. The position and structure are similar, but the styles are completely different. That makes the Kriya model powerful and great for creation. Let's see the final results. Definitely not the same style. Flux Dev reacts differently. The sampling starts the same way, but even when the control net stops, the HED lines are still very obvious. The style changes, but the lines remain. While this can still be an interesting outcome, you now have a different tool for your creations. I hope you liked this video. Thanks for watching.